vision has always been to offer a complete disposable crockery and table decoration range based on renewable raw materials that is biodegradable and compostable. We've supplied paper plates for more than 140 years, and today they always come from forests that are managed sustainably. Over the years, we've also added paper cups with a natural coating, crockery made from sugarcane or wood pulp, wooden cutlery, and bioplastic cutlery and cups to our product range. We're now able to equip canteens and large parties entirely with compostable products. They can later be disposed of through composting. Hi. So, bitte schön, guten Appetit. We've been demonstrating how this works since March 2015 with our own compost machine which enables us to compost all packaging, crockery, cutlery and serviettes, as well as leftover food and coffee grounds from canteens and coffee machines. The food is served using plates and dishes made from paper or sugar cane. After people have eaten, the used and dirty crockery is collected up with the serviettes, cutlery and any leftovers. All of this is separated from other packaging and then taken to the compost plant as soon as the lunch hour is over. Here the material is poured into the compost machine. When the machine was first put into operation, it was equipped with bacterial strains, which now continue to multiply in the machine and convert the new material that's fed into it. Products made from paperboard, sugarcane or chemical pulp only take 24 hours to turn into compost, while those made from bioplastic or wood need between 3 and 10 days, depending on the thickness of the material. The compost machine uses heat and occasional rotation to make life as pleasant as possible for the bacteria. During the composting process, the machine increases its temperature for two hours to sterilize the compost. And an analysis carried out by a specialist laboratory has shown that neither coliform bacteria nor pathogens are present in the compost. Once a week, the freshly made compost is removed and distributed around hedges and shrubs on our company premises. The renewable raw material is therefore being put back into the earth. In addition to the ecological effect, an economic effect has developed. The refuse produced at our headquarters has been reduced by 50%, partly because everyone is now being even more thorough and precise when separating rubbish.